and welcome back i hope you guys are having a wonderful today is wednesday guys december 14th wednesday uh we are doing another advent calendar this morning uh today is el salvador okay el salvador uh, santa rosa and uh wash process uh i did pull those shot this morning i got a lot of wine out of it i got some wine uh, tasting note and also got some some kind of white grapes sweet okay so there was i pulled a shot with espresso so right now here's what we're gonna do uh, i'm gonna be using two grinders here the nomco hand grinder so this is more like entry level hand grinder let's compare that with the k plus i know by the way how many of you are watching this video right now uh thinking about getting a hand grinder for the uh, holiday season as a gift idea. So yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so this is a hand, gr hand grinder from Gnome Core. It's about 38 millimeter, the bird size. And if you don't know the specs, uh, you can go to the, their website. They give you plenty of specs and the technical uh, stats there. Okay, the price. So this one's selling on Amazon right now. Let me check the price. Selling for 89 bucks. So 90 bucks plus you got 10% coupon code from Amazon. So you're looking at what? 80 bucks for this. Okay. 80 bucks for the Gnome Core. K plus. Boy. So it's about 250. It's not cheap. Okay. But I know for a fact this one performs really well. Okay. Great coffee from Easy Press K plus. All right. The, the reason why I really enjoy the comparison because, I mean, put that in perspective, okay? So $80 hand grinder is versus $250 hand grinder. That's like three times more. The real question is, is that three times the better, right? Sometimes we have to justify how much money we're going to spend on our coffee equipment. Again, uh, I'm going to brew some coffee with a K plus and... Gnome Core. Let's find out which one is a better. Okay, by the way, so you have to. Comes to taste wise, is our perspective, our subject. Okay, so uh, subjective there. If I like one coffee, that doesn't mean you're gonna like that coffee. I mean, we have a completely different taste. Here's Big Butt though. But I know what good coffee tastes like. It doesn't matter what that is, okay? I mean, if it's some, because I know what good taste coffee like. I know the difference between bitter and sour. Kind of like a basing tasting note there. Once we establish the baseline, I think we can do some, you know, decent comparison. So anyway, so uh, I'm going to start with the K plus and then followed by the uh, Gnome Core. I'm going to be using uh, 13 grams of coffee each. Uh, for the consistency, I'm going to be using my uh, April drip, okay, April drip, uh, two, kind of like two pour, okay. I'm going to do one, uh, two 100 gram pour for both of them. So in that case, you know, we are going to compare somewhat apple to apple there. Uh, what else? If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, let's see, uh, we have Linda's on our live chat. Make sure to join the live chat, okay. All right, let's see here. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Rainbow, Jesse. Okay, let's get going. Let's do some another brew session. All right. You know, let's start with the K plus. Okay, if you guys are curious about the click, I'm 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 using the ten click. Okay. Ten clicks. And I have to say, K plus is really powerful. Let's put it that way. Really fast.
We are almost done. Yep. Done. That's it. Okay. Never mind. All right. So that's the K plus. So let's grind some coffee beans on Gnome Corp. I'm going to time this. Okay, I'm very curious about this one. Because it usually takes about, what, 15, 20 seconds. With the norm core, I'm using 15 clicks. We are already at 30 seconds here. Thirty-five, forty. I'm using thirteen gram. I'm still going. Okay, about a minute. About a minute to grind for yeah, I'm still there. Hold on. Yeah, about a minute. Okay, let's brew some coffee. Let's start with the K plus. Thirteen gram going in. Oh, it's gonna be a very simple recipe, okay? Uh, technique there. I'm gonna do thirty gram circle pull and the se uh, seven gram center pull within in ten seconds. Okay. Within 10 seconds there. Pretty fast. And I'm going to wait about 35 seconds. And then we're going to hit it again. <clears throat> we're going to hit it again at 35. Okay. Again. We're going to want to clean the... 200. That's it. Very simple recipe. The brew time should be around minute and 40 seconds. Minute and 40 for brew time. Yep, about minute and 40. Start draw down right now. That could be under two. Maybe just under two minutes there. Uh, personally, I really enjoy the flat bottom paper. I feel like uh, bring up more sweetness and give you a better balance than kind of like corn drip or like V60. <laughs> Again, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to <clears throat> live streaming. 
Okay. We are still going about 210 right now. I think I'm going to call it. Okay, I'm going to call it at, let's call it at 215. I got a little bit left there, so. Let's call it at 230. Yep, let's call it at 2.30. Okay, it's like a... It's, it's about 30 gram lost. Because we added 200 grams of water, we are at 170, so it's about 30 gram. Okay. Let's move on to... We're going to do April drip. Again, a second shot here. We are doing the doing back to back. So this time this is a norm core. Thirteen gram there. Same technique. Okay. Thirty gram circle. Hundred gram up to hundred center pull. I'm gonna wait about thirty five seconds. And then we're going to do a repeat the process. Let's see, again, we're going to do the center pole, uh, circle. Make sure you clean the side and go center to 200. So with K plus, <clears throat> K plus two minutes and around 30 seconds there. And uh, let's find out about the norm core. Hopefully about a similar time, okay. Hopefully similar time. So we can compare the cup quality in both K plus and a norm core. Okay. We are at 130 right now. Okay, it's gonna be close. Okay, right now we are at almost at two minutes. Yeah. I think very close, folks. Okay. Uh, uh, this one I got from Amazon. Okay. I got, uh, I got the dosing tray from Amazon. Yeah, I do enjoy using that. It's fun. Yeah, uh, uh, look at the copy bet there, folks. Uh, it's going to be very close, about 2.30, about the same time. <clears throat> yeah, about the same time there. I think we got lucky on the grind size there. Uh, we are using the uh, copy from Onyx. The advent calendar, okay. Today is a day 14. Uh, so this is the El Salvador coffee, El Salvador. Okay. So, uh, uh, so 15 clicks on, <clears throat> 15 clicks on Gnome Core, and 10 clicks on uh, K Plus. And then we are using the April drip, uh, dripper. So uh, kind of like give a. Uh, I mean, I love the very simple, the brew process, like two pull. I mean, they're so much easier to remember. All right, pretty much the 170 gram each, plus minus five. Yeah, I think we are right on it. Okay. K plus, 
norm core, all right? So let's start with K+. Plus. So this coffee from El Salvador, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, okay? Let's do the smell test. Happy holiday, guys. Cheers. Okay, hold on. Kind of like whiny, kind of wine. I think that comes to finish wise, some kind of grape finish there. Uh, grape finish, could be white grapes. Nice acidic, brightness is there as well. Okay, good cup, very clean. So this is the gnome core. Okay, price difference, 250 bucks versus $90 right now, but Amazon is having a 10% off, okay? 10% off coupon code, so, so you're looking at 80 bucks. So this is a cup from Gnome Core. All right, cheers. Okay. All right, hold on, let's try with the K plus. Okay, it's not three times better. Okay, it's not three times better than Gnome Core. But K plus is better, but not three times better. Let's put it that way. Uh, so let's uh, with the Gnome Core. Very clean, okay. Extremely clean, sweet. Uh, let's see. I, I taste more grape than wine. Kind of like wine taste there. I can taste more with K plus for sure. But again, don't get me wrong. I mean, if someone give you this coffee, you're gonna love it. So. Okay, so why we are doing this? Why we are, uh, why, if you come to my channel, I do a lot of comparison, okay? Uh, Commandante versus, let's say, K plus, you know, K plus versus, let's say, Gnome Core, why is that? Because I'm trying to make a point that, I mean, there's no such thing as the perfect grinder, all right? Because sometimes we have to justify why you wanna spend $250 on grinder. What's wrong with, you know, $80 grinder, right? It's nothing wrong with it, okay? It's nothing wrong with it. So, good cup, all right? But K Plus is, I think, is a little better. Yeah, more sweeter. I feel like give it more balance as well. So, but is that good enough for most people? I mean, you know, I have to say, I mean, 99% of us right now, I mean, this is good enough. I mean, the Gnome Core or kind of an entry level hand grinder, I mean, they're good enough for most of our needs. But once you're getting into, okay, so here, here's a problem with really getting into specialty coffee. So now we are going to try to squeeze out that last 5%, right? The last five or 10% of the, the flavor. And then we spend, so we, we, we want to get last 5% and then we are going to spend more than 100% of your budget, could be 200% to squeeze out the last bit of, you know, bit of coffee, the, all those wonderful tasting notes. And so the, we are talking about hand grinders, okay? Once you're getting into the grinder work, the, the rabbit hole, you don't want to go there. Now we are start talking about uh, different verse sets. We got Easy Press. Uh, we have uh, DF64. All right, we have DF64, 64 millimeter SSP collections. There's no end in sight, folks. And then if you, if you have, if you build up the courage, 
and they start looking at 98 millimeter, 98 SSPs. Boy, I mean, they're in, so you, you think $250 is a lot. Okay, I start spending uh, $2,500 on grinder. Okay, coffee's cooled down now. Okay, extremely clean cup here. Clean cup. Sweet. Hold on, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's what happens when live streaming, right? Man, <clears throat> hold on. Okay, hold on a second, guys. By the way, I, I, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Hold on, here we go. Let's try one more time. It's great. A uh, little aftertaste, okay? So it comes to clean finish. If you're looking for something clean finish, uh, the obviously high-end coffee grinder give you that little extra, but that's something you have to decide how much money you have and also uh, how much time are you willing to allocate to make coffee. Okay, I, I think that's, the, yeah, I, I think that's the key, right? Because all the equipment, if you don't have time to enjoy, so if you have the time, if you have the money, go at it, okay? Go down to that rabbit hole of the coffee gears and coffee tools, have fun. But if you are someone that, you know what, I, I just want a good filtered coffee in the morning, once in a while, and I just want to have some latte, some espresso, I don't, I don't need to be best, I just want to be good enough, okay? If you are a type person like me, good enough, man, so here's the setup for you. Get an entry level hand grinder, okay, spend about, you know, don't get the cheap one, okay? Uh, get like $100 hand grinder. Could be norm core, could be uh, timer, easy press. So they have $100 hand grinders out there. They're pretty good. So they cover the, your filter coffee needs. And then your espresso and milk-based drink, like Bravo Brewster Pro or Express, they're fantastic, all right? Uh, they're great. And then you are going to have pretty good setup. Okay, so you, you're not gonna have the best setup, but you are going to have a really, really good setup. It's gonna set you back about a thousand bucks. But once you're going to start looking for the best setup, man, we are talking about thousands and thousands of dollars. Okay, hold on, it's uh, Hector. You should get $200 grinder and you, you will be set for espresso. $200, $200 grinder for espresso is you, you know, by the way, you don't want to make espresso with a hand grinder, okay? Unless if you're a young guy, <clears throat> if you're a young guy, has a lot of energy, sure, go at it, all right? But people, you know, if you're, if you're like me, old, middle age, I, I don't think I'm, I think I passed the middle age mark, so unfortunately, yeah. I mean, I wish I was a young guy like Hector there, but yeah. Hold on, uh, let's see, someone mentioned, is that Jesse? Is that Jesse? Hold on, someone, yeah, Jesse uh, mentioned about, are you going to get GP6? Uh, most likely not, okay. And most likely, okay, so here's, uh, I reached out to Easy Press, so I asked them, hey, what's the difference between <clears throat> GP6 versus uh, uh, the K Plus? So I asked them there, you know, directly. And then according to them, according to Easy Presso, GP6 give you more clarity, but K Plus give you more fines. So if you want clean cup, uh, personally, I want both, okay? I want the fines as well. The fine give you that highs and low. And that's why it's a highs and low. So if you, if you wanna taste something bright, uh, tasting notes, the brightness, it's gonna be pops. So, I mean, that's what I like. And if you want a clean cup like GP6, it's gonna be clean. You're gonna, you're gonna see the separation of the cup. I'm gonna hold on. So, for example, if you want a cleanest cup, EK43 with SSP in it. Now, this one has a 98 millimeter SSP. 
and it's going to give you a completely different. Uh, you know what? Let's brew. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's brew that right now. Okay. You know what? Uh, let's brew. Uh, yeah, since since we are here, it's about eleven. It's about eleven ten right now. I got some more coffee left. Uh, let's do another thirteen gram. This time, uh, let's use the EK forty three. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do one more bonus feature for you guys. This is a bonus. Okay. Again, some people think that I drink a lot of coffee. I mean, not really. Okay. I mean, again, this is only 13 gram, and uh, I'm not gonna finish this cup. If I'm gonna drink every single cup I make, goodness, yes, I'm in big trouble. Yeah. So let's do another 13 gram here. By the way, uh, again, this advent calendar <clears throat> is about uh, hold on, it's about 50 grams each, 55 grams. So. You don't have a lot of coffee to work with to dial in. Hold on. 12.8. Hold on a second. We got Holly. Can you give my partner Alex for shout out? I'm going to shout out to Alex from Holly. Yep. So with EK, I'd like to add a little more. Yeah, I, I, let's do 13.5 gram. Okay. So check out the speed of EK43. If you haven't seen it in action. I mean EK43 is really, really special. It is big. But man, uh, if you are into filter coffee there, it doesn't get any better than this one. Okay, I need some more water as well. Okay, I got some. The one thing I don't like about the new fellow, the EKG, the stack. Once it's heated up, the, the seal is kind of like vacuum seal somewhat. So it's hard to come out. Just make sure you got to use tower to refill it. Okay, just like so. Because, I mean, most of us, Though, you know, one kettle should be fine for all your coffee needs, but if you are making like motor for motor for coffee, sometimes you have to refill it. Oh, by the way, let's talk about water for a second. Uh, I'm using the, the perfect water as well. I'm using the perfect water. And the water temp set at 204. Okay, if you are just joining us, make sure to join the live chat as well. Okay, make sure to join the live chat. Hang out with us. Uh, we have a great group of community. There we go. That's it. We are talking about seconds. We are talking about seconds for grind pretty much any coffee. Just going to heat up my paper, wash. If you want something like easy, but very, I, I, I want to say like fun to work with. 
man, I've, I've been really enjoying the, the April drip. Okay, April draper. Ended up in 13.5 gram. Okay, again, uh, we're gonna do the Patrick's technique from April. Shout out to Patrick. All right, here we go. I'm gonna be doing 13, uh, 30 grams of circle pull. So you go 30 and 70, okay? I'm gonna go 30 grams of circle and then 70 grams center. We're gonna do that twice. And then I'm gonna wait about 35 seconds. We're gonna repeat the process. Okay, we are going to repeat the process there. Uh, we are at 30 right now. We're just going to do, again, another circle. 30 grams. Make sure to clean out the side. Hit it hard. To 200. That's it. So that is uh, using <clears throat> the EK43. So that uh, the burr is the SSP burrs, uh, same geometry as the 2015, the pre-2015, the burr design. Supposedly bring out the, all the sweetness and give you a perfect balance of cup and extremely clean. Comes the bro time there. Uh, it's around 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, I feel like we are watching the paint dry here. All right. I'm just going to put it back for a sec. Okay, if you are brand new to the channel, uh, welcome to live streaming. Uh, pretty much we go live every day. Kind of like, <clears throat> we just have some fun making some coffee with like different brewing methods and you know, hopefully give you guys some tips and tricks. Uh, you have about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, uh, similar to other brews as well. Let's, I'm going to call it at 2.30 right now. Let's call it at 2.30. So this is from EK43. All right. So this is a cup from uh, friends at MK Studio. So this is a handmade ceramic. Uh, by the way, so how many of you are actually uh, looking for like some premium uh, cups for holiday season? Yeah, let me know. If you guys are into premium cups, man, the handmade is really fun to use. Smells good. Cheers, guys. Dr. Safti looking for premium cups. Yeah, check out the MK, okay? MK Studio. Actually, there's a lot of companies out there make a uh, handmade ceramic, but with the MK, they actually design for uh, you know, drinking. Sensory score, sensory cup. Yeah. Man. Clean. Okay. Really, really clean. Goodness. I, I, I taste the red wine. The grapes. Kind of like white grapes. Sweet finish. There's no aftertaste at all. Okay. Just simply are drinking. You know what? I'm just, it's it tastes like tea. Let's put it that way. I mean, it tastes like tea. Very nice, high quality tea. Yeah, they're wonderful. Uh, I like mentioned about the MK cups are super. Yeah, it is nice, but the shipping costs are fortune. Okay, 
the shipping costs are crazy expensive. So, I mean, cup itself is not that expensive. You know, yes, it is a premium price, but, but the shipping isn't going to really get you. So, yeah, it, that is unfortunate. But I bet you, you know, there's other companies out there, you know, they do that, you know, hopefully cheaper shipping to get. But again, I mean, I, you get maybe one or two cups. It's not like you are buying a lot. It's for the special occasion. So, but I mean, if you have the money to do it, yeah, they are small uh, ceramic shop. They only make like what, 30, 40 at a time. They, they supply worldwide. So, yeah, it's, if you can get one, yeah, I mean, they're pretty, uh, pretty nice, really special. So let's try the K plus one more time here. It's been cooled down quite a bit. Okay. Man, I can taste a lot more now. Uh, a little bit more bright there. It's, a, um, it's hard to explain, okay? Very hard to explain. Let's go back to the EK again. All right. Man, it's good. Good cup. But is that 10 times better? No. Okay. Nothing is. Um, uh, like I mentioned, comes to buying a grinder, most likely you're only going to buy one. One or two at the most. So, and to find out which style you like, the, you drink the most. Uh, if, you, if you are into wash process versus if you are drinking the anaerobic process, if you are drinking the wash process, a uh, nice flat uh, burr would be fantastic. You know, nice flat burrs are great. But if you are into like uh, na natural or like anaerobic process, um, you want to have a little bit more fine to bring out that, you know, highs and lows. I mean, that make a big difference as well. Okay. So... Uh, Dr. Safti says, support your local ceramics. I mean, if you can find your local ceramic shop, I mean, I cannot find in Tucson. Okay. And if your ceramic shop, if they can come up with some kind of sensory cup, something like this. Because if you go to a ceramic shop, I mean, they just give you like plain cups. I mean, like, hold on, let me show you. I mean, like something like this. It's not, you know, a nice ceramic cup. It's, you know, it's nothing fun about this cup. But maybe if you can work with, have them make some, you know, cup for you. All right, it'd be something like this. It'd be, I mean, a lot of fun. Okay, a lot of fun too. I mean, some shop does that. Okay, I know some ceramic shops. You can actually commission out, get some nice cup. Man. Okay, we have uh, somebody say, I like the whiskey tumblers my coffee. All right. Yeah, actually, they, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, uh, that, that's a pretty good idea. I mean, that's why like company like Krupp come up with their, you know, their design, their unique design to kind of like drinking like wine. Because I know a lot of you just, just chug down coffee in the morning, but cup like this, Kind of like slow down your the drinking experience for sure. All right, I think we are good for this session this morning. Again, uh, let's uh, let's summarize it. Okay, if you are just joining us, time uh, norm core versus uh, K plus from Easy Presso, eighty bucks versus uh, two fifty. Yes, the K plus is better. Uh, comes to cup quality, but. Not much better, okay? It's better, but it's not like huge. It's not a game changer, let's put it that way. It's a good cup, okay? Clean cup, it's a, it's a good cup, but Normcore, not too far behind it. So, I mean, if you don't want to spend too much money this holiday season for your hand grinder, so, uh, uh, definitely take a look at the Normcore's good. Uh, Easy Press makes also a good entry level grinder as well, even Timer. I mean, they're a well-known company. You know, I think I like to start with those guys. Even like San Antonio Industry too. So, I mean, they are really good in that price range. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning. And uh, I'll be back maybe later today. Maybe not, okay? Maybe we, uh, we should make some latte later. All right. See you next time.